hello guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to send automated email to respondents in kobo toolbox so what we are going to do is we'll first of all create a simple form then we'll connect the api of the form to google sheets and in google sheets we are going to make use of extension google sheet extension to send automated email to respondents so that's the three process the first process is to create a simple form the second process is to generate api that will be connected to google sheets and the last thing is to connect is to send automated email to respondents in google sheets so let's jump into it so i'm going to click on new and i'm going to click on build from scratch and the name of the project will be let me name it automated for the description you can write whatever i like and for the sector i'm going to select order for country i'm going to select nigeria then create project okay i need to select order select order i need to select nigeria and I'm going to click on create project. So it will take me to form builder interface. This form is currently empty. You can add question, notes, prompts, or other field by clicking on the plus sign below. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. And this is the first question I'm going to add. I'm going to add name which is the name of respondent i'll click on add question i will use this open-ended question so i'll make it mandatory mandatory response so the next question i'm going to add will be email so i'm going to click on add question and i'll select this and i'm going to make it mandatory the last question i'm going to add will be country and for the country i'm going to use Canada, Germany, England, and Nigeria. So I'm going to click on the settings, then make it mandatory response. So we've successfully created our form. So what I need to do is to click on save to save the form. After saving the form, I'm going to click on return to list. So, and I'm going to click on the question again, which is the automated. Here I have the interface of the question. So I have the summary, I have the form. The data is in gray because we've not sent the, we've not sent the responses to back end. And I'm going to click on settings. On the settings, I'm going to click on sharing. So I need to share the form so that it will be available for anyone to connect with the api so i'm going to click on anyone can view the form so i only have this which is this so the next thing i need to do is to click on the form again and deploy the form so the form has been successfully sent to to cloud so anyone can click on the on the form and fill the form so i'm going to click on open to open the form in a new tab so we're going to fill a dummy data into the back end so for the name i'm going to use um shell for the email i'm going to use my second email which is shell first two at gmail.com for the country i'm going to use nigeria and i'm going to click on submit so i'm going to wait for probably some seconds and it will be sent to the back end so automated one was successfully submitted so i can go back to the to the kobo tubos interface yeah i have zero submission so if i reload the form i will have one submissions Yeah, I have one submission. So the next thing I need to do is to go back to setting again 
and click on sharing to check if I've ticked the shareable link. So anyone can view the form. So I need to click, anyone can view the view submission me to this form. So I need to click on this also. So now I'm going to go to data. So on data, I'm going to click on download. So on the download, I need to do some operations. So the first thing I need to do is to click on advanced option. On the advanced option, I'm going to export select many questions as single and separated columns. So for the select question to be exported, you can tick whatever you want. You can tick the one you don't want. If I, un if I uncheck this, you should not send this index, the tag, the submitted to the to the um, Excel or to the Google Sheet, but I'm going to send everything and I'm going to click on save selection as so I will name this form as automated. So this will help me to search for the API in the endpoint or in the API endpoint. So I need to name this particular form. You can name it whatever you like, but I'm going to name it as automated so the next thing i'm going to do is to click on export and it will download the the form to excel so i can download the excel format of the of the response so if i click on this it's going to download this to to my desktop or to my pc so you can see the form i have the start time started at 20, 2022 um, September 5th so I have the end the name the email the country the ID the UID the submission the index and whatever so I'm going to go back to the Kobo toolbox and what I need to do is to clear off this is to clear off this Is to clear off all this and I'm going to use API slash v2 to go to the API route so on the API route what I need to do is to click on the this particular URL uniform resource locator this asset the first one so after clicking on this it's going to take me to the assets list here I have the current endpoint which is the api you can see this is the api of all the forms in my in my in my interface in my dashboard so to locate the particular form which is the automated what i need to do is just to click on ctrl f and search for the automated so i'm going to search for it so i have the automated which is the form export setting you can see so on the on the URL on the on the URL which is the API, what I need is the is this particular URL which is the cobotubos.humanitarianrespond.info slash API slash v2 asset and these settings slash data .csv. So I'm going to be using this particular particular URL which is this CSV URL. So I'm going to copy the URL uniform resource locator and the next thing for me is to go to Google Sheets so to open a new Google Sheets what I need to do is just to type sheet.new and it's going to open a new sheet for me so let's wait it's going to open Google Sheets spreadsheet yeah I have the Google Sheets spreadsheet so on the Google Sheet spreadsheet, what I need to do is to use this simple syntax, which is on the A1 column, I need to use equal imports. I need to import the data from Kobo Toolbox. So I'll use import data brackets apostrophe and I will paste the particular URL. Then I will close the apostrophe, comma apostrophe semicolon apostrophe and i will end 
the bracket with close brackets then i'll click on enter and it's going to fetch it's going to fetch the it's going to fetch the data from kobo toolbox database to google sheets now you can see this is the data in google sheets name email country id uid submission blah 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 down to the index so we've successfully connect the two pieces of software the kobo toolbox and the google sheet together and we've been able to fetch the api of kobo toolbox to google sheets and we have this particular data so every submission in kobo toolbox will be sent to this particular spreadsheet so the next thing for me to do is to connect this particular form to to send automated email to respondents so what we need to do is to connect extensions that will be used to send or to trigger email from from our particular draft email to send it to the respondent so what i need to do is just to click on here yeah, i have the particular extension that i'm going to use which is the mago i'm going to use this mago extension to send automated email to respondents so to to install this mago on your pc what you need to do is to click on extensions and click on add-ons then click on get add-ons and it's going to load we need to wait for a while yeah i have all different add-ons in google sheets so to look for that particular mago what i need to do is just to press mago so we have several extension that can be used to send automated email to respondents but i prefer to use this mago because it is free so you can use any extension you wish yeah i have the mago you can see it has 2 million download i have generated documents yam we have me mail match there are several extensions that can be used but i make use of this mago so you can use any extension to send automated email so I've installed this Mago mail match on my on my spreadsheet on my Google Sheet. So you can go ahead and install the the extension. So what I need to do now is to click on the Mago to click on the extension. So and I'm click I will click on mail match. So when I click on mail match, it's going to look for all the draft email on my Gmail. It's going to look for several draft email on my gmail you can see i have kobo to bus messages so i can create a new one let me create a new kobo to bus so i'll leave this empty i'll name this kobo to bus kobo to bus automated email so let me show you something that is very important if i need to call any object in my data to to the mail what i need to do is just to make use of the column the header i need to call the header using a ginger format that ginger format is just a simple syntax which is op double open curly brackets and i'll copy the column name the particular column name so what i need what i want to do is just to call the name of the respondent so to call the name of the respondent i need to copy this header down to the draft email so i'll copy this i'll copy this and paste in the ginger format so i can just use this double curly bracket which is co double curly bracket the column name which is and you need to close the double curly bracket so i'm going to use i so I'll use I, the name of the respondent, then the message. Let me use thank you. Thank you for participating in this survey. Thank you for participating in this survey. So you can use anything you want. So I'm going to use trebuchet. So I've drafted this 
email that will be sent to respondents so let me just close it and i'll go back to the spreadsheet so to look for that particular email probably i need to i need to i need to reload this form so let me click on reload to reload the form So I'll click on me match and it's going to load and I'll click on me match. Let's wait and see. So Cobalt 2 Boss automated email. So you can see I have the email column, which is the email. The sender, um, uh, let me use Cobalt 2 Boss. Global Tubers community. So I'll, I can check this. Then what I need to do is to click on send email. And it's going to send this drafted email to the respondent. So let me check. So I, I have successfully sent the email to this particular this message to this particular email she will give me force too so what i need to do is just to click on you can see kobo tubers which is the new mail kobo tubers automated email so let me click on it i show you can see it call the object the object on the data which is this particular name i show thank you for participating in this survey so you can see that is how to send automated email in Kobo 2 box. Thank you.